Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Texan Aviation Cessna Denali enters new phase of development. Kermit Weeks saw with pup damage during test flight. And new Safari 500 coming to AirVenture. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson, it's June 1st, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Textron Aviation has provided an update on the development of the new Cessna Denali single-engine turboprop. Fabrication of the nose section, fuselage, wings, and tail cone of the first three flying prototypes is underway, paving the way for the aircraft to enter the market with best-in-class performance. Program engineers are busy building and testing initial flight test articles using production assembly tools manufactured in-house, and continue to conduct static and fatigue tests on ground test articles. The clean sheet Denali is unlike any other aircraft in its class, in terms of advanced technology and performance. For that reason, we're seeing great interest throughout Europe from piston owners looking to step up to more performance, as well as from turboprop operators, said Rob Scholl, Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing. Throughout the program's development, Textron Aviation has integrated new automation and robotic technologies into production. The company looks forward to achieving the first wing mate and completing the prototype airframes as the program nears first flight targeted for early 2019. The Denali will be equipped with the first clean sheet turboprop engine to hit the business and general aviation market in more than 30 years, the GE Catalyst. GE Aviation announced first engine runs of its all-new advanced turboprop engine in late 2017. After the break, Honda Aircraft Company unveils the Honda Jet Elite. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus Engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Joan Report, our website or podcast, just email to news spy at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Honda Aircraft Company has unveiled a new, upgraded Honda Jet Elite. The Honda Jet Elite has extended its range to 1,437 nautical miles and is equipped with a newly developed noise attenuating inlet structure that lines each engine and greatly reduces high frequency noise to enhance cabin quietness. Additionally, the new aircraft's advanced avionics system incorporates additional performance management functions for ultimate flight planning and automatic stability and protection functions to enhance safety of flight. The WX24 Pilot Aviation Weather App is now available in a free version, providing a great presentation of aviation weather with a quick and easy read of conditions and forecast, in addition to providing weather reports for even the smallest of U.S. airports. WX24 Pilot provides an innovative way of presenting aviation weather, allowing pilots the ability to see and understand complex METARs and TAFs in seconds. Even Air Mets, SIGMETs, and TFRs are reportedly presented on one screen for weather at a glance. The FAA has issued a safety alert for operators warning of possible improper maintenance performed on aircraft accessories and articles by Southern Atlanta Aerospace LLC. According to the safety alert for operators document in August 2011, the FAA revoked Southern Atlanta Aerospace's Air Agency Certificate and its Associated Repairman Certificate. The revocation was a result of an investigation conducted by the FAA that revealed that Southern Atlanta Aerospace had obtained its Part 145 certificate under false pretense. 
For the first time ever, the United States Air Force Global Strike Command is bringing a Boeing E-4 Advanced Airborne Command post to EAA Air Venture Oshkosh. The E-4 is a modified Boeing 747 used as a mobile command post for the National Command Authority. Each E-4 has more than a dozen external communication systems, giving those aboard the ability to run the country from the sky in case of a disaster. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. When it comes to the restoration and rebuilding of historical aircraft, one must be ready for anything. Kermit Weeks, former U.S. aerobatic team member, aero entrepreneur, and Warburg collector, is one of those guys that's learned that lesson time and time again. One of Weeks' most recent restoration projects suffered a setback during a test flight over the weekend. Part of the engine cowling on the Sopwith Pup World War I biplane that Weeks has been restoring for several years separated from the Ford fuselage during the flight. Weeks described the accident in a Facebook post. Initially, the cow departs before I'm over the FOF runway, and you can see the left side cowl floating down across the street. The rest of the cowl stayed wrapped around the plane and could be heard flapping in the breeze. I immediately shut the engine down and focused on landing the plane. Weeks landed the airplane safely on the grass at his Fantasy of Flight Museum, Aviation Attraction and Restoration Facility. He has not said how long he anticipates it will take to repair the damage, but it looks like he did a great job getting it back to the field. After these messages, new Safari 500 coming to AirVenture. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. Oshkosh is barely 50 days in our future, and the anticipation for this year's event is already reaching serious levels. While we're fairly sure we're going to see a record number of new products and airplanes, we're also going to see something a little more unusual that was previewed last year an all-new experimental helicopter. The new Safari 500 two-place helicopter is now in flight test. A YouTube video shows a vehicle rotoring up a storm and prep for display at Whitman Field this July. Their current classic-looking Safari 400 platform is something of an homage to the Bell 47, for which there are now dozens of birds in the air. It's about to be joined by the all-composite Safari 500. The company reports that cooling worked out, air conditioning underway, controls tweaked, and she's back in the air. The 500 is performing beyond our expectations. This new bird has a decidedly more modern look, a 650-pound payload, and boasts a 180-horsepower Lycoming 0360 for power. We're looking forward to seeing it in action at Oshkosh and trying it out for ourselves. Stay tuned. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Have a great weekend and see you Monday.